Alrighty, now we have my favorite, the quad feature. So, this is my birthday weekend. My birthday was July 5th. And if you don't know, Spider-Man motherfucker. Far From Home was supposed to drop on my birthday, but they decided to bump the date up to the 2nd. Which really kind of pissed me off. So I would have had a happy birthday, but as you know, my birthday went to total shit. <laughs> so, yeah, long story short, if you didn't watch the video, uh, on my birthday I found out that my best friend's daughter had died of an overdose over a month ago. So that was fucked up. And then yesterday was uh, my bestie's six year death anniversary and I got through it without crying I was alright so let's get in this quad feature cause I asked if I could stay and see four films again so I got four films <laughs> so first up we got Spider-Man Far From Home and D-Box definitely fucking awesome and I regret not seeing Spider-Verse and D-Box oh, I took my sister me and my sister went and saw this she almost couldn't see it because my mother was against the romance in the film. How gay is that? So, me and her enjoyed the hell of this. Straight 11. Then, uh, she went home, so I saw Godzilla, King of the Monsters. This was fucking stellar. I enjoyed it start to finish. Like, that was... That's the way a monster film should be. It was perfect. Straight 10. Like, all oh, these, these are all straight 10s. Swear. Toy Story 4. Bald. Start to finish. Whew. I didn't think 3 could be... I didn't think they could top how sad 3 was. They topped it, in a sense. But still, I mean, both are equally sad as hell. But damn good, though. I wish they would have explained what happened to Bo Peep's arm, though. That's what really bugged the shit out of me. Uh, and then, last but not least, I ended my night with... John Wick, Chapter 3, Blurry Screen. Come on. Bitch, focus. 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 Come on, focus, goddammit. Ah, come on. There, chapter three, Parabellum. Fuck it. Ugh, cunt. I don't know why I won't focus, but whatever. <laughs> so, out of all four of these, I had one hell of a good time. I was at the movies a straight up 12 hours, because I got there at noon. So, I was nice and early for the 1230 show. We'll throw a 35 show. And then, um, yeah, so I was there till about, yeah, I was there till about 12.15 in the morning. That was when that ended. That was damn good shit. That, oh man, whew, this motherfucker really amped up the damage from the sec from the sequel. Hardcore. Excellent. Them dogs, holy shit. So much fun. Oh my god. And this was just so damn sad, but such a good way to end the saga of Toy Story. I hope they don't make any more, though. Because then it would really, like, be just, you know, beating a dead horse and shit. This, I definitely wish had an extended cut to it, because it was so much fun to watch that shit. And people were bitching about how, um... There, was, there wasn't enough humans talking and shit. Like, it's a monster movie. There's gonna be monsters fighting each other. Fuck human interaction. Damn. And then, Spider-Man Far From Home. Dude, I did not expect Jake Gyllenhaal to pull off a villain role. I really, I, I was not expecting that. I didn't expect him to pull off Mysterio so fucking good. Like, he killed it as Mysterio. I mean, he really fucking killed it. Like, that was just... Oof, epic. Like, he did a masterful job of kicking ass in that movie. Like, he really proved, you know, that he could do it. 
and that was amazing because most people can't pull off a roll properly sometimes it takes a good couple people to get through it and recasting and whatnot so that's eh, tricky <laughs> oh man that's two so yeah that was my quad feature weekend for my that was my quad feature birthday weekend that was a lot of fucking fun. I want to do that. I'm making that an, a yearly thing now where I find four films to watch on my birthday weekend. Whether it's with my sister or by myself. It'll be a lot of fun either way. Oh, man. So, would I recommend these four to my friends and you? Well, yeah. Duh. <sighs> if you're against monster movies violence disney marvel these aren't for you fun story i'm sitting in the top row watching chapter three and there's a little spoiler in the beginning of the film john stabs a dude in the eye with a knife a girl diagonal from me goes ah! and clings to her boyfriend like a little bitch i was like wow like the fuck are you doing in the theater thing you pussy and I also ended my night drinking a can of Surge to Chapter 3. That was good shit. <laughs> Best birthday ever. Made up for the shitty Friday I had. So, if you like all four of these films, definitely get them. Definitely rent them from the library first. If you've not seen them, and see how you feel about them. If they're, you know, what you're, what you're into. If you want to, you know, own them and whatnot. Rent them. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever way you want to get a hold of them and try them out. Because, you know, most people are picky. Everybody bases most of their shit off Rotten Tomatoes or various articles they've read, spoiler websites, all that bullshit. I don't do that. I just go, I go into a movie and I watch it with zero expectations. That's how I am. I go based on the posters and the trailers. That's it. I don't need anything else. Just me... And the theater and silence for the most part. <sighs> so, badass movie, badass movie, badass movie, great ass movie. <laughs> like, oh man, I was in like such a state of euphoria after I left the theater. I was so happy, man. Couldn't have been happier. Like, it was the best weekend ever. So, I will be going to the movies again probably next month since there's really nothing planned in September this month for September aside from It Chapter 2 which I haven't seen yet I'm saving that for October because there's better stuff planned in October and I don't want to waste money on one movie um so if you're not into Keanu Reeves if you're not into Godzilla if you're not into Tom Holland if you're not into Toy Story at all. I mean, these ain't for you. If you don't like uh, mixed race romance, that's not for you. If you don't like watching monsters kick the shit out of each other, not for you. If you can't stand blood and violence, not for you. If you can't handle cartoon or CGI and stuff, not for you. Uh <sighs> If you just have a grudge against anybody in these films at all, these ain't for you. If not, check them out. So, that's all I got for right now. So I'm going to go back to cleaning my room because I still have trash to get off the floor and shit. So, yeah. Until next time, like and subscribe. Thoughts and prayers.